What's up everybody, Crypto Coding here, welcome back to another game development video. In this video, you guys will learn about cool transitions in Ghetto. So let's get started. First, what you have to do is add a what's known as a color rect. This node here is a just a simple rectangle and we'll be animating them. So let's change the color of it to the black because we need a black. Now we want our our this color rect to uh, take the entire screen. Let's get started. Click on layout, full rect. As you can see, we have done it. Now, what you need to do is add an animation player. Before we add an animation player, let's uh, let's go rename this to a fade in animation because we're just gonna rename this. Okay, just rename. Now, let's add an animation player node. Sorry if you can hear the sounds. So. As you can see, we have created the animation player node. Now click on the uh, flip, flip, click on the fade in, click on the color, and then make the alpha value to zero. We don't want any alpha for now because when the animation starts, we don't want any value. So how we are gonna be able to see? So that's because we just take the alpha value, and make it low. All right. So after that, what you need to do is click on the animation yes <laughs> i just forgot so click on animation click on new say fade in after that what you have to do is click on the fade in animation as you can see there's a little key here click on this bad boy click on create after uh the after one second but i, I do not recommend one second because it's just like too long what you have to do is click on this and let's make it 0 0.5 animation okay now come over here and then let's add another one. So click on this value, make the alpha value 100, I mean 255. <laughs> so then add one. As you can see, we have a really nice animation, okay? After this, what, what, what we have to do is just click. Now it's time for the little bit hard part. So we, I'm gonna be coding it with you. First, we need to take in the fade in and also to get the reference to the fade in and the animation player. So let's write on ready var, uh, let's say fade. Let's see, let's, uh, mm, I'm gonna make it a color rect or color rect object. Let's say fade in, fade in, fade in object. Man, I can't type. So get get parent get parent get node. Let's see the fade in. Then same for the same for the animation player. So animation player object. So yep, we just need to change this to fade in animation player. Now, for the, when the game starts, we don't want a visible this animation player. If you do the recasting, so for example, uh, if you enable this thing, we cannot click on the button. So what you have to do is make it disable when the game starts. So say fade in object dot visible to false. Next, what you have to do is on the on the play press. So we click on it. First, we need to do is a fade in object dot visible. To true now we don't have any problems because of course we just clicked on it next what you have to do is play the animation so what you have to do is just say animation and anim damn it what the heck I'm writing animation player object dot play fade in simple as that now what you have to do is create a simple timer of 0 0.5 seconds or animation player click on the animation player node and let's check, we have 0 0.5, so we have to create a timer of 0 0.5 seconds. What we're gonna do is write yield get tree get tree man create timer 0 0.5. We want to run when it's it it's timeout. So when we finish 0 0.5 seconds, this is basically wait. Wait for 0 0.5 seconds and then start the world scene. So save, run. And when it play, bam, we got a nice looking animation. Thank you guys for watching. I'm going to be seeing you in the next video. I mean, yeah. Yeah, thank you.